What can blockchain technology be used for and how capable is it in real world applications? Well, I'm Justin from ARC, the TypeScript blockchain project making this powerful technology simple for any developer. Today, we're taking a closer look at ARC Messenger, a fully autonomous and secure chat service powered by ARC technology and funded by ARC Grants. ARC Grants is a recently launched program seeded with 1 million ARC to fund developers for their blockchain powered ideas. Developers can apply for up to $10,000 USD worth of funding in ARC at grants.arc.io. Built by community member and delegate Lemmy, ARC Messenger runs on its own customized ARC powered blockchain. Lemmy is quite familiar with ARC and delegated proof of stake, and he is already a top earner on the bounty leaderboard. Lemmy brought this idea and his full proposal to the ARC team to fund his development, and once he was approved for an ARC grant, he immediately set out working on a proof of concept and a full outline. Lemmy is a developer and delegate on the ARC public network. Lemmy runs this website that you see here, arcrelay.com, which comes with many helpful tools and features, such as a delegate tracker to monitor the vote weights and trends of delegates, advanced transaction search with detailed parameters, a network monitor, public API list, and more. Lemmy also showcases additional contributions here. Keep in mind that Delegate Lemmy is being featured in this video, and it's not an endorsement from ARC.io to vote for a specific delegate, and users are encouraged to consider all the options when voting. Users can do that at arcdelegates.live. Arc.io does not run the Arc public network. Developers like Lemmy who come to the Arc ecosystem are always looking for ways to contribute and demonstrate what's possible with Arc. The Arc ecosystem is a community of doers. So if that's you, consider joining our Slack at slack.arc.io, contributing code and earning Arc at github.arc.io. And uh, what was the last one? Uh, oh yeah subscribing to youtube.arc.io, hitting the bell, setting the notifications to all, then you get more of all of this. So what is Arc Messenger? Well, simply put, the Arc Messenger is a fully autonomous and secure chat service built entirely on Arc technology. Proofs of concept for communication services are becoming increasingly necessary in an age where users are paying closer attention to how their private data is being shared by centralized corporations. Now, the benefit of having a chat service that runs on a blockchain allows users to stay in control of their private data. Arc Messenger users are not asked for sensitive personal information, such as their name, email address, or phone number when creating their account. Now, upon creating an account, you will have the ability to either join a channel or create a channel, along with a specific mnemonic passphrase. This mnemonic passphrase can be shared with other users who want to join your channel. Now, sensitive data is never broadcast and all data is handled on the user's local client. So now that you know what Arc Messenger is, let's see it in action. So here we are at arcmessenger.io and the first thing we need to do is create an account. So let's do that. It asks for a username. We'll just put in testy test as the username and then press create. Okay, great. So now the mnemonic passphrase is ready. We're gonna copy this and then normally you would store this in a secure fashion, i.e. probably not in a notepad file just on your computer, but in some other more secure way. But we're gonna copy this to clipboard and we're gonna press log in. Then we're going to press okay on this. And now we're ready to log in. So we're going to provide our passphrase that we have already secured, but for the sake of testing purposes, I didn't secure it, that's fine. We can click remember me to remember for future sessions and then click log in. So now it's asking me if I want to save the password for later, and I don't really care about that, so just click no. And uh, now we're in, so we can join a channel or create a channel. If we already have a passphrase for an existing channel, then we can uh, put that in here and it will join that channel. But for this demo, let's create a channel. So we're going to click on that, and then it's going to uh, give us a passphrase, a mnemonic passphrase for the new channel, and then we can join the channel down here. Have you safely stored the channel's passphrase? No, this is just for testing, but you should if you're creating a new channel. We'll press okay, and now here we are in our new channel. No messages. I can put a message here that says, hello world. And here it is. This is also safely and securely stored on the blockchain that's running uh, this application. So 
the system works and anyone can go to arcmessenger.io and use it, see it, try it out for themselves. It's that easy. So this is pretty cool, right? And it's all powered by Arc technology. But that is not all we are covering today. No, no, no. For the developers out there who wanna learn more about how Arc Messenger works under the hood, blog.arc.io has a three-part tutorial series that goes into all of the technical architecture of Arc Messenger. Now, massive spoiler alert, the tutorial articles are linked in the description below. Now, the first part talks about how Arc Messenger works from a technical perspective, and it shows developers how to set up their environment. Part one also covers the parameters used when launching a custom Arc-based blockchain using the Arc Deployer. The Arc Deployer is an easy way for developers from all walks of life to create, customize, and deploy a standalone blockchain powered by Arc. The second part covers the generic transaction interface, or GTI, and custom transaction types. This part also covers the tests that were used to make sure custom transaction types were built correctly. Also, tests are laid out to look at whether the custom transaction types were working as intended on the network. Lastly, the second part of the series covered using custom transaction types within the client. Now, the third part simply covers the fun part, launching the proof of concept. There's also additional details that relate to building with Arc as well as using custom transaction types and the Arc Deployer. Of course, the final portion of the series touches once again on Arc grants and how other developers out there can also get their blockchain-powered ideas funded. The Arc Messenger project is also open source and MIT licensed, meaning that other developers and projects can use the code as an addition to their existing toolkit. Well, we'd like to thank Delegate Lemmy for his hard work and dedication. He's built something meaningful that can be applied to an endless variety of real world issues. As a final note, Delegate Lemmy had this to say. It was a great experience working together with the ARC team in this ARC grants project. We had many fruitful discussions and they were happy to lend a helping hand in many ways. The ARC toolset itself is showing some awesome potential and I hope that this project helps in showcasing some of its uses. Well, thank you, Delegate Lemmy, for your continued participation in the ARC ecosystem. And thank you for watching. So you can check out more ARC videos here, and we'll see you next time. I wonder what video I should make next. I mean, I really like these. It shows blockchain technology doing things that are actual. We out here.